Oh, okay. Apple. We're at Green Mountain Orchards. We're at Green Mountain Orchards. This is the best <laughs> orchard around. I found some apples. Apples. It was a rough morning, by the way. All tears this morning, but now we're doing good. Shaw's on probation for hitting Ivy with a stick. Oh! Whoa! My so it ain't all pretty. But this is pretty. This is pretty. This is Green Mountain Orchards in Putney, Vermont. Ooh, I'm running a little faster. Whoa. This is a fully functioning, successful farm. Remodeled buildings. Uh, this is actually like a working, making money farm. And it is awesome for kids. They give you a wagon, you grab a bag, you only pay for the apples you take. It doesn't cost anything to come. Hello. They have blueberries and peaches and apples, more, literally more apples than you can imagine. Rows and rows of apples. Great kid activity. Do you get an apple, Ivy? Yeah. You got an apple in your hand, you put it in a bag? Yeah. Oh, good. Apple. Crust. What I got? It's crushed. Let me see. Oh. Hold it open. Good girl. There's some right behind you, Ivy. Oh. Oh. Apple on the tree. Oh. Pick that tree. Yeah, there you go. Whoa. Whoa. There you go. Oh, you got it that you picked an apple. Can you get one more in there? Yeah, Pull that off. Yeah. Oh, you got it. I'll show you how to apple. Oh, look at all those apples. It's so late in the season. Wow. Look at that. Right here, look. Look at those apples. You have two hands? Oh. I, I can only use one hand, see? Oh, you got it. Watch this. Good job. Watch this. I can only just tell oh, how much I have. Whoa. Now remember, when we put the apples in, put them gently so that they don't bonk the other apples. Then they can keep for a long time. They won't have any bumps or bruises. But even if we get all bumped and bruisey, you know what we'll do with them? What? Make applesauce. Right tonight. Well, I like small apples. I think they're like sweeter. That's, that's going to be Papa's just a minute. They look so good when they're polished. Look at that. Yeah. And then... Mmm, that's a Cortland. <coughs> Whoa! For Mama? Wrap it up in some paper. I want to give it to Mama as a present. Good idea. They got the best wagons for apple picking with kids. Oh. Oh, you want to take that off? Pee. Oh, it has pee in it? Wow, you're getting so smart. You're getting smarter than Papa. Apple, apple. Whoa. Oh. It's an apple forest, Ivy. It's an apple forest. It's like having a drone without a drone. Where is my drone? I didn't bring my drone. Yeah, what's wrong? <laughs> go wherever you want. There you go. I'll come over with the wagon. Look at that bunch of apples. What do you think of Green Mountain Orchard? Yeah. <laughs> it looks like we had found the great rows. A lot of these rows are all picked out, but we found the best row of Cortlands, right? Look at that red apple. I have a good twist. There's the farm. Yeah. Now how about let's get to work? Just starting to Studying the plant? Yes. With your tape measure? Yes. <laughs> Looks like they're getting the tractor going for some picking over there. All right? Yep. Let's go. We're in a different world. We're in a different world. You're right. They got solar panels up now.
Okay. One of the things I love about New England is that at any time during the year you can have a stunning, sunny, warm day like this. It's October 30th. I took my shirt off at the apple orchard and it snowed a couple days ago. And now I'm getting a tan. In the depths of winter, the sun will come out with a clear blue sky, like diamond clear when it's cold. And the sun, if you're on a porch with even one layer of glass, our porch is 70 degrees and you're tanning. And I love that. What? How are you doing, Ivy? Are you guys doing an apple puppet show? Yeah. That is cute. Ivy, you're eating five bites of five apples. Yeah, uppy. <laughs> okay, uppy. Papa, it's all... We already have to... All these around here are apple trees. For, yeah. Oh, the apples are apple trees for your puppet show. Yeah, I'm gonna take. I wanna take um. This apple. I need apple tree. Shaw went and hid. Can you find Shaw? He insisted on wearing a blue collared shirt today. He does like to get fancy on the weekends, and I think because it's blue, I see him right behind that tree, underneath the tree. There he is. Whoa, that was fun. Hold on. 